Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. And um, friends, today I want to give you an update on EBT 101 as there has been a lot of questions around it from the viewer in the comment section as well as in emails to me. Um, many viewers ask, can we expect it in 2026? Some express exasperation that it has been decades and no cure has arrived and uh, they talk about various conspiracy theories. Guys, let me tell you that if you are anxious, the best thing to do is to start reading up on latest research and clinical trials. Knowledge is power and throws light on the condition and helps understand the significance of every event that happens in the HIV cure landscape. Guys, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but when I found that you guys were keen to get information, I started reading up and now I know so much more about this disease and the various cures that are out there. And you are asking me questions like, you know, when, when will it come? What will it cost? In my mind, those are not the right questions to ask. To those who watch uh, a video of mine and always ask, when will it come? I say that you are not asking the right question. Your question should be, can I afford it when it comes? And how do I save for it? Friends, I'm doing HIV videos because I genuinely care about you, um, all of you guys, and want to give you hope and inspiration. Not false hope, but true hope, based on real therapies that are undergoing rigorous scientific research in genuine institutions. The genuine stuff takes time to make and you need to be patient. Despite side effects, ART is the best standard of care right now for HIV and it will keep you healthy till a cure arrives. Once you are on ART, focus on your real life and let the scientists and venture capitalists worry about creating a cure. Believe me, they know it will be a blockbuster drug when it comes and you do not need to worry about um, this cure day and night, like which cure is happening, when it is coming. You don't have to worry about that. It's all wasted energy, wasted time, wasted life. Okay, you have to focus on your career, earning money, saving as much as you can, investing it so that when the cure arrives, you can buy it outright instead of waiting for a subsidy or something like that. Okay, guys. So let's get started. Welcome back, friends. Last month, we got an update from Excision Bio. Excision is a private company, so we cannot expect quarterly updates. So we are fortunate that we have this update, which happened in a conference. In case you are hearing about EBT 101 for the first time, EBT 101 is a potentially curative one-time CRISPR-based treatment which makes two cuts in the integrated retroviral DNA to remove large portion of the HIV genome and prevent HIV from escaping and reproducing. It excises the gene that produces the GAG protein which is very vital in the formation of HIV copies. So that's what EBT 101 is all about. It's a once and done cure. Exition's phase 1 slash 2 for ages 18 to 65 years old is the first clinical evaluation of a CRISPR-based therapy targeting an infectious disease using a multiplexed in vivo gene editing approach. In vivo means inside the body. I know that most of you are thinking, Raj, spare me the details. Tell me when the therapy will be available and what it will cost. To you, I am saying that this is a very, very complicated virus. And the therapy that excision is talking about is very complicated because it's not doing ex vivo. It's not doing outside the body in a test tube and then putting it back into the body. It's doing the edits inside the body. And it's doing the edits on your DNA, the DNA that is in your body. It's not doing it on a RNA or a mRNA. It's doing it on the DNA itself, which means your DNA is being edited inside your body because the HIV has already gone into your DNA. So that's what excision is working at. So that is the second point to remember. A third point is that it takes away the gag protein uh, gene of uh, HIV in all the cells that it can enter into. And therefore, it's a potential sterilizing cure. But we will not know that until we go through the clinical trial results and see how it happens. Because this is very invasive. Your DNA is your blueprint of your life. So we have to be careful with the DNA. So FDA will also be very careful. But you know what? The good thing is that FDA has given a fast track uh, designation for this uh, therapy. So I'm very, very hopeful of that. Okay. Unfortunately, I can't answer your question about when it will come because 
we don't have that information from excision and uh, i keep on watching uh, excision communications on that front and i'll bring you the news as soon as i can uh, you know i get it so however coming back to the original uh, train of thought whenever i read phase 1/2 uh, study i am happy because it means that the clinical trial aims to study safety which is the goal of phase 1 so it will st- study safety entirely because that's what phase 1 is supposed to do but it also has elements of phase 2 running in parallel so that when they get into phase 2 they will be well prepared this could potentially optimize the duration required for phase 2 so that's why i'm happy when it says phase 1/2 clinical trials another thing you should be happy about is that ebt 101 has received the fast track designation from fda the benefits of fast tracks are there are more frequent meetings with fda this means excision can get the benefit of fda knowledge on process procedures and past learnings from various other therapies where a particular procedure or a particular construct has been used before more frequent written communication with F- fda is the other benefit of fast track designation this means that excision need not wait for a particular window of time to accumulate all the queries and ask question at one point of time with one big communication instead it can on on a ongoing basis send communication to fda and get answers this can expedite it, uh, expedite the work because issues can be addressed right away instead of having to wait for a period of time or a window of opportunity when they can have a chat with the fda and then you, you have the uh, eligibility for accelerated approval and priority review if criteria are met so priority review can cut couple of months of the standard approval time frame so that's a main benefit this means faster approval and also fast track uh, designation means that they have a rolling review this means excision can apply updates um, uh, can supply updates to fda as and when it happens and fda can provide feedback as and when it uh, gets any updates this is especially good because as the bla is submitted bla means biologics license application which is the final step uh, for approval when bla is submitted rolling review can prevent delays and surprises so instead of waiting to fill up the entire forms and everything and give bla as one big bang submission everything happens on a rolling basis as the bla gets updated and the fda gets to see it and fda stays in sync with excision uh, and the development team of excision uh, and develops a great under good understanding of the therapy both the fda and excel uh, excision um, uh, team will be on the same page with regard to the development of the therapy and uh, that would help uh, avoid having a adcom which is a external group of advisors who come to review a therapy and advise fda any uh, any uh, possibility that adcom can be avoided is a positive because it saves time and uh, efforts and also the fda may uh, have better understanding of the therapy and can approve much faster so these are the benefits of the fast track designations my friends and uh, as a result of which i'm really optimistic that excision is doing a great job this also means that there is a lot of pressure on uh, agt uh, to move faster they have already done their phase 1 and in order to uh, be ahead of uh, excision uh, they need to start the phase 2 sooner rather than later and they also need to make efforts to get a fast track designation from uh, fda uh, towards that end i think they must already be making efforts but uh, the fact that uh, excision has got um, fast track means that any other company that is looking at hiv cure has got to reevaluate its own timeline and try to work faster and smarter in order to be first to the market so excision is setting the pace my friends so uh, you got to be happy about that and once again let me uh, assure you guys that the cure is coming whether you are taking note of it or not the cure is coming even if you don't think about it day and night the cure is coming many companies are working on it there are many venture capitalists who are looking at this as a lucrative opportunity to invest and make a lot of money so the money is also coming in so guys you don't have to worry about it just worry about how you are going to save the money and be ready to buy the therapy when it arrives because if you got a once and done cure it's likely to cost as much as it will cost you for a lifetime of hiv so it's going to be expensive uh, governments will try to subsidize it uh, who will try to negotiate mpp will try to negotiate a patent but guys from a philosophical point of view if there is a threat of not realizing the profits after making a therapy uh, the entire um, spirit of the 
the uh, enterprise world which supplies the money uh, will be killed and uh, there won't be any more uh, drug discovery and drug uh, enhancement people will just let it go as you can see when anything becomes generic the the drug ends up uh, dead in a short period of time because once it becomes generic uh, other companies which didn't have to invest in research just take the formula and start manufacturing and supplying it and that makes it very cheap and then they compete for lower margins and higher volumes this ensures that most of the competitors are dead and the only company that survives will then start increasing the price of the therapy or the therapy goes out of the market altogether so those are the dangers so we have to reconcile with the fact that any innovation in any sector of the economy is going to come because of the greed greed factor like gordon gekko said greed is good i wouldn't say that greed is good but without greed you may not have uh, enterprise you may not have uh, new innovation and you may not have uh, new hiv therapies coming in there's a lot of risk involved because many of these therapies that they are working on may potentially not succeed and some of them may succeed so all the uh, losses have to be absorbed so as a hiv patient you got to also realize what it is that drives industry to make this happen and therefore you have to prepare to save as much money as possible so that you need as less help as possible in order to get the therapy when it arrives and um, uh, that's my advice to you and in our channel we are doing genomic uh, investment related videos start looking at those videos don't just look at hiv videos look at our investment videos as well so that you can understand how the investment area works and if you are interested please let me know i will tell you how you can start doing your budgeting household budgeting and uh, what are the various opportunities for you to uh, save your money and invest with varying levels of risks and returns if you are interested in those things put it in the comment i'm already doing that for the hindi audience and i can do an entire series for you here because my objective here is that once i got to know about you guys out there once i got to know what you are going through and what you are looking for uh, i couldn't but help you know create these videos for you and i can go one step further and teach you about investments and uh, give you the knowledge that you need in order to save your money in the first place through budgeting and various uh, money saving techniques and then the money that you have saved i can give you ideas of what are the avenues in which you can invest where you have le- low risk and high return high risk and high return all those kind of things uh, based on your age group and everything so i have all those knowledge that i can share with you but i need to know that you want it if you do that i want many of you to write in the comments that you want uh, those kind of contents then i'll add that also into my repertoire of um, contents for you guys okay so with that said uh, let me leave you with a word of encouragement the cure is coming uh, any time after 2026 we should see one cure or the other coming up it will be ebt 101 or it will be agt 103-t we have had jeff galvin himself in one of our interviews with him tell that you can expect a functional cure after 2026 so i would expect that the agt 103-t will probably be available to us maybe in 2027 and i can see that ebt 101 is also making a fast uh, uh, making fast progress and uh, that could be a sterilizing cure as well so that may also come somewhere around 2027 so you guys should celebrate that you are at the right time Uh, and you are most likely to get uh, a therapy just remember the case of freddy mercury such great talent so much of money and wealth but he didn't get any therapy that he could use you guys are more luckier than him in the sense that you have art which you can use and prolong your life save your cd4 t cells so guys i want you guys to be happy enjoy life every day that is passed you can't get it so every day enjoy it eat something that you like go eat a dessert or an ice cream or something or your favorite snack uh, enjoy that go play some sport that you like or watch a sport go on vacations do something or the other so uh, enjoy your life focus on other things let the venture capitalists and the scientists work on on how to create this uh, therapy regardless of however you feel they can go only so fast and um, come up with a cure so enjoy your life enjoy a great weekend i'll catch up with you again sorry this segment was a bit long uh, it's a very passionate segment from my side for you guys because i feel for you i really wish a cure comes very fast but it's going to take as long as it takes uh, and i want you to be uh, motivated and positive and one more request guys some of you have been writing conspiracy theories that uh, on the comment section 
please don't do that. This is a positivity zone. I want to keep it that way for all of you. Whenever you feel depressed or down, come here and you will find nothing but inspiration and positivity. And I want that to be true in the comment section as well. Okay? So, I wish you the very best. If you're already uh, a subscriber, I would request that you become a member and help sustain this channel. Okay? You press the join button and become a member. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.